thank you so much, uh, everybody, for being a part of this and contributing your time and your energy and your talent. Uh, you have no idea how much it means to me uh, doing this a third time. Just feeling really lucky, to be honest. Mm -hmm. And I think it's going to be really great. Thanks for joining us. Here we go, day one. We're shooting on some nice lenses, which will be a lot of fun. Oh, what kind of lenses are there? Uh, These are Zeiss CP2s. Um, yes. Oh, so got some real deal big boy lenses today. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pan up to see what where his hand lands. Yeah, so when I start seeing him, I'll tell him to move his, his hand. Uh, I'm the script supervisor, uh, so I'm in charge of continuity, making sure everything's okay. staying yeah. on track. Uh, hey, Pikachu, I don't think mom should be alone. <laughs> He's gonna be that size in the actual film. Yeah, that's so cool. He's about a foot tall, you know. He's only a foot. About a foot. Yeah. So you can sort of like see, figure out where he's at. Dude, um, it is crazy, man. I grew up on Pokemon, and so playing Ash Ketchum, he was like my childhood hero. So I'm being my childhood hero. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> right now, the metal doesn't really mean much. Like, yeah, it it's was another a big metal thing. on the wall. Yeah, that's okay. the idea. Is that it's not. And plus, you're meant to just die. So yeah, that's so I would be more excited away. about it if he was alive. So I uh, told Brock I'd visit. Look tired. Look, I'll be fine. Hi, my name's Alan, and I'm the DP for this shoot. Supposedly, it's like Misty opening the door, so then we're gonna shoot it like this. Okay. Yeah. By the height. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So her height, she opens the door, and that's when she notices. <laughs> yeah. This. Yeah. He's not there. Pokemon is very dear to my heart. Um, and I'm just really honored to cast as Misty, really. And um, I'm really excited. We're just starting. It's the first day. Look at this. We got a little artist over here. I yeah, drew my little son, my, my little brother, Pikachu. <laughs> We had a future Picasso over here, but a yeah. girl version, Picasso. <laughs> I am the prop master on this film. Right now we're dressing the set so we can have a nice living room that looks like people actually love it. We hope that we can achieve that look and let's get these photographs on the wall. I like to ruin tapes. <laughs> the director wants a night type scene. Let's middle of the day. So we had to block out all these windows. With these, they're called floppies, which are the big ones that kind of fold in half. So right now we're setting up all these C stands, yeah. hanging this sound blanket, just to make it look like nighttime. So. No, no, no. no. Okay. At the very end, he can. At the very end, you can push her aside, and that's fine. It can dirty the frame. That's fine. We'll get that. We'll get that in the. Get that on the yeah. Uh, so let's run that one more time. That was really good. I promise I'll come back when I'm strong enough. Ash, don't do this, Ash. Please. Cut. That's a cut. Okay, let's move All on. All right, moving on. Yeah, can I see the end point? We're on day two of six for Ash's homecoming. Um, yeah, we're on location. And action on Violet. Gary, I know life hasn't always been easy for you. I should have been there when you needed me. But just now, that I've wanted you to be happy. Yeah, we were uh, using the Ronin earlier, so I got to work out the shoulders a lot. When we say Ronin, it's this um, rig that allows you to walk around and move with smooth motion. And it uh, took a long time to get, but I think it'll be worth it. If you're going to do anything with the hat, do it like this, and then you know, have this thing here. And then, you know what I mean? And then put it on as, you can put it on as you're coming this way. I am part of the grip and electronic electric department and what we basically do is just handle the lights, uh, handles the C-stands, anything that's manual labor we handle. There are some battles that you gotta fight, so there you go. <laughs> this is one worth fighting. Chief executive grip. Chief, chief executive grip. Gotta know your battles. God, it's hot. It is hot. Hot. Describe it. Hot. <laughs> <laughs> You're cramped. I like this false sense of nice to see you a little bit. Yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. I know it's a tough valley there. Yeah, yeah, but I it's just cool. didn't want to get too intense because we're saving the intensity for the kitchen. Okay, yeah. Gary? Ash? I see you beat me here. 
is the five ton grip truck, uh, grip, electric, and lighting. Um, the truck comes with a bunch of tungsten lights, uh, comes with kinos, a lot of stuff, dolly tracks, Dana dolly, speed rail, generators, source fours, all kinds of stuff. Sounds good. Roll camera. Camera's rolling. Yeah. Scene 13, Ash, take two. And action. I'm sorry about that. Day 2.5. Yeah, day two and a half, I guess. Our bonus day. He's here. Is he looking at me? Mm -hmm. Is that higher? A little bit higher? Just for you have some trouble Can you do that? He reaches and understands the difference. He doesn't understand different strokes. He's like the Batman. He's like, can you do the brush stroke? <laughs> We got this little underwater camera here. Three, two, one. All right. You got it? That was a decent one. Woo! That was good? Yeah. High five. Yeah. Thank you. You did it. What do we call you? What's your uh, title? Underwater operator? Let's go with that. Chief, <laughs> Chief, Chief Executive Underwater. underwater. We're setting up lighting arrangements so we can get it right over top of this beautiful art piece. Just going for a high key look here. You want it well lit to really accentuate those Pokeballs. Alan, what are we doing right now? I'm bouncing the run in. <laughs> so that I won't die on us when we're doing a take. We are putting up posters in Professor Oak's lab of Pokemon stuff. With the they roll. They run away. These Pokemon, you know, they're in balls. You would think they would stay put, but these balls just roll away. Right, so I'm starting this from me looking at my dad, correct? Let's huh? roll camera. I'm starting this from looking at my dad. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna start from the top without the door. I had to go to Disneyland for this acting class. Did you just say you had to go to Disneyland? Yeah, for an acting class. I had to go to Disneyland. Is that like the Disney um, program for like backstage and stuff like that? Yeah, for acting class. I love that place. Pokemon, I choose you! <laughs> This is Misty's trainer costume. This one is one of my favorites. I made this one from scratch, and she's got her bathing suit on underneath. This is her, like, I'm becoming a trainer again, um, getting back in the game, ending, like, kind of alluding back to her yellow trainer outfit from when she was young. This is also one of my favorites. This is Adult Ash's jacket. This one was really fun because I got to like beat it up. Um, so I bought it new and I took it and I like scrubbed it over concrete and like yeah, yeah, yeah. smudged it with paint. I created it and then I destroyed it. Yeah. So that was fun. <laughs> so it's just the green button. I don't worry about the, the toggle switch. Spiky. Oh, it's. This is great. I love this machine. It's fun working with him. Oh, hi. <laughs> yeah, feelings mutual. Beat there where you're kind of just staring at each other and you go, like, all right, you know, then you sort of give in to his. And then for you, when he tells you that he has another one, you're just ecstatic. Do you promise to take care of this Pokemon no matter what? I swear, I will. Action. Ash, you've got to get back. The lab, it, it's been robbed. All the Pokemon are... gone. Felix has been working on our Pokeball machine, which you're going to see in the movie. It's amazing because the Pokeballs pop out of it. How long did this take? About a week and a half. It was a rush job. That's a Honda Pilot window mode. 
We had a really amazing production design team. So. Hope you enjoy. Thank you. I'm Gary Oak. How are you all doing today? He's actually Gary Oak standing. I'm yeah, Gary yeah. Oak. I'm yeah. Gary Oak. <laughs> I'm Gary Everybody Oak. look at me because I'm Gary Oak. <laughs> He's been a community leader for the last 30 or 40 or 50 years. Everybody in town knows him. That's you guys. And um, he, did, he passed away a couple weeks ago. This is not like fresh. There's no casket there or anything. So it's not like... We're in, but it is very somber. It is very, you're, we're all in remembrance of him. Be nice and subtle today. No like, ah! okay? We, cause we don't want to have to cut you, okay? From the movie, not any, yeah. So just, just be subtle, <laughs> be normal. Try not to stick out too much, okay? Camera. <laughs> okay. Cool. Camera set. Camera set. Somber. Very somber. The funeral. I have no lines. All I got to do is wear yes. She's just acting with your beautiful face. <laughs> it's okay. We'll figure something out. Great time, this is so fun. Yeah, I was on set yesterday to shoot a scene and now we're at the church with 40 extras. Big day, very well, how, how do you feel about uh, your character, Daisy? I like her, you know, when I started watching the cartoons, um, she seemed like she could be a little too snarky sometimes, but I think Daisy's grown up and she has a sweet soft side now. We honor the life of Professor Samuel Oak. He was a man full of wisdom, Nearly 30 years ago, I was all alone, and he was there for me. I feel like this is not like people just dance in general. And then as I'm just like, click, 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 click. Where'd you put that blanket? Should I get some water in my mouth to pop up? Um, well, I mean, definitely not this one. No, just, just pretend. Just, just pretend, okay? Just make the water thirsty. Uh, yeah. Just sort of wave forward, like waddle forward to the land. Um, it just looks kind of funny when you sit up and then sit back down. <laughs> okay, never mind. Ready? And drop the pole. Oh, it's a kid. Are you okay? We're here on location at Irvine Regional Park about to shoot our Mount Moon scenes. Well, good morning. We are on day six of six of Ashley's Homecoming. We're trying to be very safe today. Just setting up a little shade, a little area of shade with the crew and talent. Because it's gonna get it's gonna get pretty bright pretty soon. So I think the second scene, the gloves have come off. Okay. I just feel and like he can, can be more. The gloves are off. I feel like he can just be more expressive without them. I agree. But in the yeah. first one, he's and a little these bit. Aren't, these are concerned. Like in the first scene, we have the trench coat and the hat too. So mm -hmm. I feel like he's more incognito there. So then we'll give it to. Her. Yeah, yeah. Second we could. Actually, that works pretty well. Giovanni, stop this now. Mom. 
Dude, let her go now, Giovanni! Right now! Calm down, Ash. Why do you persist? She's the one that deceived you. Fifty minutes till lunch, guys. Yeah! Already? Oh, well, it's 11.10. We've been here since six. Yeah, <laughs> wow. Give me Oak's Pokemon. What are a few Pokemon when I'm offering you my empire? And you're gonna throw the ball in action. Okay. And action! So be it! Cut. Rain! Rain and action! Job, right? <laughs> I don't want to hug yeah. you in this shit. <laughs> 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 I need it. I need, I need that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you want it? Yeah. <laughs> 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 you can go ahead. <laughs> this is it. This Are you going to do the end. same thing too? <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us here on Ash's Homecoming. That's a wrap on Ash's Homecoming. That's a wrap! Yeah. 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 Trouble, make, make it, it double. double. I finally got it. I finally got it. <laughs> see ya in six months for hey. the movie. Six plus months? We'll see. We'll try. Who knows? Coming soon to a theater near you. Okay, bye. Bye. Bye for now. See ya. <laughs>